And then I'm having a pretty good year. Okay, and how long have you been teaching for all together? Well, I taught for 28 years and then I retired. And then I've been home for six years and then I decided, hey, I miss being at school and teaching my students. So I came back to Point Pleasant High School. And is teaching now any different from teaching in the previous years you used to teach? Yes, because uh, it used to be that I didn't have to do so much with the computer and my email. Now I get about 30 email emails a day, and I'm supposed to, like, read them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have time because I'm always so busy teaching. Are the, like, students, like, are, like, the personalities, I guess you could say, any different from your previous years to now? For the most part, all the students are just delightful, and I really enjoy getting to be their teacher. But I do have a few students that, um, I don't know, they don't seem to appreciate getting to be at school. Yeah. Well, thank you for letting us interview you. Well, you're welcome. And that was Landon with Miss Anderson interviewing her about her teaching career. Hi, I'm Cooper with Addie and Lindy, and today we're going to be asking very serious questions. Wrong answers only. What day is it? Uh, Monday. Happy New Year's. <laughs> um, wrong answers only. How do you make your peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Uh, wrong answers? Yep. Uh, no peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tyson. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> wrong answers only. Would you rather be a cat or a dog? A moose. That was actually pretty, that was pretty good. Yeah. Okay, wrong answers only. What does a cow say? Roof. Ready? Wrong answers only. What's the first thing you do in the morning? Brush a dog. Okay. What color is an orange? Wrong answers only. Blue. Hey, what holiday is coming up? Wrong answers only. Uh, Christmas. Okay. Okay, okay. Wrong answers only. Where do babies come from? Storks. <laughs> Hello, my name is Addie Steen, and today I'm here with the president of the Pup Club, Kylie Price. So how did this club get started? Um, so a guy named Alex Dickens came up to us and wanted to get like more involved with the school. Um, our student involvement have been like has been like going down uh, in the last couple of years due to COVID and everything. So we just wanted to start a pep club to like get students more involved, make it more fun, and get everybody back together like it used to be before COVID. So how did you like get involved? How are you the president? Like Okay, so I like to be involved. I like to attend all like the football games and everything. So he came up to me and he was like, "Hey, would you be interested in starting this and like being like running it for us, like coming up with the themes, uh, getting all the confetti and everything for the student section?" I was like, "Yeah." So then it kind of just your president. <laughs> like, okay. So what goes on in the pep club, like? Okay, so we um, like I said, we pick the T-shirt themes for the student section. We get confetti for it. Um, we got a banner. Um, all the smoke. He Alex bought all the smoke. The fireworks off for touchdowns. He bought all of that. Um, we have like pep rallies. Um, we have meetings like normally on Fridays, so everybody can get their wristbands. So they can get in free for the game. And we just discuss like what's going to go on at the game. We have uh, third down cheers, first down cheers, uh, music. We pick all the music. So anything to get people more involved. So you think that this club has benefited the school? Um, yeah, I think it's benefited the school in many different ways. Um, this past year, we've seen a bigger student section than the past couple years. So I think getting people more involved, getting the word out is definitely helping our school. How do you think that this club will carry on after you? Um, so after this year, they, I know they have a, big plans. I know they have like plans to put like a DJ down in the student section so you can like DJ it out. Um, I know they have a lot more like planned going on next year. Like this year is kind of just a building block. Like we have to set our foundation. We have to get people involved before we go on to, and we can buy more things. I know we have to fundraise so we can get all these things and just make it better for next year. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Addie Steen, and now I am here with the vice president of the pub club, Carson Tent. So, what is your role in the pub club? Like, how do you help Kylie? Um, Kylie and I kind of, you know, do the same things. Um, I've also bought confetti for the student section. I've uh, bought some bracelets for them. Um, just really do the same things. And I read the pep club float with them. I bought some confetti for that. Um, uh, me and Kylie helped make the signs for that. And we also hung up the balloons on there. So we really just do about the same things. So what is like your favorite part about being in the pep club? Like, do you feel like if you weren't the vice president, would you still be involved in the pep club or? Um, I definitely would be, even if I wasn't vice president. I feel like like this is a really good club to have at our school. I know it's not, you know, an educational one or anything like that, but it's fun. And I think you need to have more fun like in school and especially with your student sections, um, just make it better for everyone. And I know your athletes like having a student section too. Yes. Okay. So how do you think that this club has benefited the school? Um, I think it's really good for our school to have, I think, it gets the students more involved and it's really just, you know, helping everyone out, your athletes, your students, um, makes them, you know, love this place, I guess. <laughs> and you can just have a good time in the student section. Mm -hmm.